Good morning, I'm Tony Kerridge from Tony's Tackle. I've been selling fishing tackle for 40 years. This is the 40th year in December we've been here and uh, we've been quite successful in the shop. We've done well over the years. I think it's because we put a lot of effort in and try and help people while we can. Um, anyway, I love my fishing still. I've still got a passion for it. I went out in a boat a few weeks ago and I made up some rigs. We was inshore and we was up tiding. And I put together these rigs and they're a bit blingy, you know. They're made up with amnesia. You've got some little attractors there and uh, some beads, which are always good for place or whatever you come across. But what happened was I was up tiding with this rig and uh, they got booms on as well. And you've got like a medium sized swivel on there, which clips in. Um, you've got 60 pound trace body, which is ever so supple. That's um, grease weasel clear. And anyway, to cut a long story short, I caught a really lot of fish in a boat. So I said to the guys in the boat, I'll make you up, including some lovely bass, and I said, I'll make you up some of these rigs. So lo and behold, we got them made up in the shop, and uh, they've been doing brilliant on them. And not only that, some of the guys have took them down the beach, and there's a lot of flatfish around, and they found, because of the booms, you get a bit of movement, and they've been absolutely brilliant. So they've been catching fish on the beach as well as up tiding. But... The good thing about them is they're all nice, they don't touch each other, they're all nice and neatly tied. You've got the same thing, like I said, you've got your amnesia which holds it out straight. You've got a stop on here, which is power gum. And then you've got some little attractors there, which is can be little spoon things. Tronics do a nice little spoon thing you can put on the end there, you know, just very small. And everything's neat and tidy. There's no clips on it because you you don't have to chuck it miles, but as you know, if you get away from the boat, quite often you'll catch a lot more fish than you will fishing out the back of the boat, which uh, we've proved time and time again, up tiding, introduced by John Rawl many years ago, is one of the best things you could ever, ever invented as far as I'm concerned in the fishing world. But um, nice and neat, you've got a five and a quarter lead, I use a six, a red, because I feel like in the boat you want to, you'll get a lot of tide and you want to, especially off of Eastbourne, you need to make sure that's anchored in nice and tight. So that when you get your bites, you don't miss them. Um, getting back to the body, you've got 60 pound grease weasel, which I've said. You've got some lovely booms here, which are metal ones. You can buy them in the shops, they're cheap as chips. Snoods are medium length. The hooks are Camasan B940 again, size two. Maybe a little bit bigger in the boat, you can get away with, depending how far out you are. Um, you've only got, you've got limitations on here. If you get out too deep in the boat, you can't uptide very well. So. They're not much good, but for inshore fishing, these have been marvellous. And I made them up just for a couple of guys who come in the shop. They had so much success that now I sell them on the wall. I sell them at about £3.50 each, and we just find we don't stop selling them. And now they use them on the beach. It's incredible, isn't it? Okay, these are good. This rig's become pretty popular. It's kind of like, I think I call it an attractor rig as such. Um, there's nothing finesse about it, really. It's just nice. It's not clipped. It's easy to cast. If you get one of them Colmic Hazard rods I was talking about earlier on, for about 90 odd quid, 95 quid, you could chuck this on the beach, chuck it a nice way, and it's a simple rig, nice and you know, nice and easy to cast. Perhaps you could change the hooks, put size fours on, so you've got a smaller hook. The hook seems to be a bit large, but in the boat, obviously, the hook's a bit small, it goes the other way. But they certainly work, and, and I think the booms, when they, you know, they move in the tide, and I think they just, they just attract fish in general, booms. Um, it's not a myth, I think they work. And so the beads attract fish, there's no doubt about that, especially place. This rig enables you to use um, various baits. Obviously, if you've got bigger hooks in the boat, you use bits of squid, lug tip squid. Uh, cocktails are really good in the boat. On the beach, primarily lugworm. And you'll find that they'll catch, they're easy, they don't tangle and uh, they've had a lot of success on these rigs so they're not bad and I call it the attractor rig like I said but you know anyone's got their own name for everything haven't they